All right, I'm going to take a shot at demonstrating my do-it-yourself air sled project. I don't have any help, so the camera work might be a little bit awful. In addition, of course, we're in the process of remodeling our laundry room, which is one of the reasons I wanted to make the air sled project. Uh, so it's definitely not ready for its close-up. But uh, in the previous video, or the previous part, uh, you saw the the makeup of the air sled, so I'm just going to come in here and grab one of the feet and it just slides under the appliance. Something like that. Uh, take the second one, do the same thing. Get them. Aligned a little bit out toward the uh, toward the feet. I grab the uh, uh, hose assembly. Just use this friction fit right down in there. Something like that. And grab the uh, leaf blower, which uh, is not uh, plugged in yet. Let's see. This is uh, harder than I had hoped with one free hand. <laughs> Something like that. We'll get it all straightened out here in a minute. Forgive the uh, camera weirdness. Let's see here. Let's take a short, short break to plug in the uh, leaf blower and uh, put on my ear protection. I also apologize for the awful noise if I'm unable to edit it out. Hold on. All right, there it is, however pitiful it may be. Um, I want to point out that the uh, leaf blower has two settings, uh, low and high. So I'm going to start off with a low setting to inflate the feet and bring them up against the, the bottom of the dryer. And uh, I'm trying to figure out how I can show the movement. Uh, one moment, let me see if I can grab somebody to hold the camera. All right, here we go. I'm going to give it a whirl. Uh, low setting, then high. Let's try to get in place here. <laughs> There you have it. Minor mishap with the uh, uh, tube coming apart uh, initially, but uh, that's because I was trying to put it together one-handed before. Um, it works. <laughs> uh, move the dryer easily with one hand. That's directly on a tile floor, and I didn't use any anything underneath it for le lowering the friction. That's all done with the done from the air exiting the bottom of the feet. Um, I probably could use a either a, a, a thin board or a, another piece of vinyl or some, some plastic to make it a lot, a lot smoother and less friction. If I push on the top of the washer, I tend to collapse the feet a little bit. I'm sorry, if I put on, push on the top of the dryer, I tend to collapse the feet a little bit. Uh, so it kind of rocks and, and then it uh, grabs. But if I push it lower near the center of mass, it slides around quite easily. Uh, so. Like I said before in the previous part, I am very pleased. The idea actually does work. 
Uh, now I just have to see how it performs on a washer and what I have to do to improve it to make it actually work for the washer. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.